Well, the list of things you can now do with your smartphone just got a little longer and a little better. The Lab Strip, a new project on Kickstarter and a very cool innovation that transforms your phone into a mobile lab? That's right. What does this mean for your business, your doctor, or you? Well, Cass Hoffman of Anywhere Science will give you all the answers up next on Crowded Places. Hello everyone and thanks for watching Crowded Places, the web show that highlights Kickstarter projects and the people behind them. As always, I'm Curtis Hollister. Joining me today is Cass Hoffman of Anywhere Science to talk about his smartphone powered diagnostic device and the Kickstarter project featuring it. Cass, welcome to the show. Hey Curtis, thanks for having us. We're excited to be here. So you guys are doing some pretty interesting stuff with your LabStrict diagnostic tool. Let's get right to the point. What is this thing? What role does it play in everyone's future? Well, thanks for asking, Curtis. You know, we're very excited about LabStrip. And, you know, LabStrip is an attachment for your iPhone, and it works today with iPhone 4 and 4S, and in the future, hopefully, also with the iPhone 5. And it's an attachment that, that basically augments the native capabilities of an iPhone and converts your iPhone into a mobile laboratory. And it, 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 the, the current device works with standard test strips, you know, the chemical test strips that a lot of people use on a daily basis. And we have enhanced the capabilities of your iPhone to automatically interpret the results of those test strips and store those in the cloud. And so in addition, we've developed that cloud backend where you can store your data, run calculations, store our calibration files, and other like location aware data too. Mm -hmm. This has multiple industries uh, and applications from the point of view of the kind of data set you can be capturing off Strip X or Strip Y. Where did you guys come up with the idea and why did you push this forward as a business? Well, you know, we realized that a lot of people use these standard test strips on a daily basis. Either they're cheap, they're fast, it doesn't require any calibration, and it measures a lot of really useful things. Mm -hmm. um, the downside is to, to do using the test strips is that it's subjective. You know, the interpretation of it depends on how you look at it. You compare the little test strip once you've dunked it in some fluid, you compare it against a little chart, and then it gets complicated because you don't really know what the result is. I'm testing pH. It might be pH 5, it might be pH 6. With our device, we can actually tell you it's 5.35. And with our meter, you get basically a very precise, expensive meter for a very low price. So we saw an opportunity to, to leverage those, those amazing capabilities of those mobile devices and clone them into strip interpreters for us. Now, this is um, across Android and iPhone, is it not? Today, we only support iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S devices. In the very near future, we'll also support iPhone 5. And we do have a future roadmap to also support Android devices, but we're not there yet today. So you're starting with a pH level test. Is there a potential to bring the solution to the home testing market for things like, say, cholesterol or home nurse visits and being able to share the data coming off this device with doctors or medical professionals anywhere? Right. So out of the gate, we'll support pool and spa strips. So you can test, for instance, a narrow range pH, things like free chlorine, alkalinity, stabilizer. And we'll also include a broad range pH so that you can actually convert your iPhone into a pH meter. Uh, those standard tests have a very large install base of tests. You could do things like aquarium and palm tests beer brewing, wine making, water quality testing, soil testing. Mm. Um, and in addition to that, and, and my co-founder Brian Nolan's background is actually in point of care medical diagnostics. And, and so in addition to that, we do have a long-term plan to take that system in that direction. Um, you know, most notably, we want to do things like urine testing, urinalysis, uh, ketone testing for diabetes and things like that. And using these standard out-of-the-box tests that are available on those litmus strips today, 
the sky is really the limit. You could do things like fertility and pregnancy testing, screening for drug abuse, and the opportunity for us is enormous. If you if you look at the point of care medical uh, testing market today, that's a twenty one billion dollar market with ten million ten billion dollars outside of the U S. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, the potential, for instance, using devices like this in developing nations is very clear to us. And there's no infrastructure that needs to put in place besides mobile device uh, infrastructure that is really in place in nations like that. You know, we're, we think our systems are the real, the real right approach for that. So obviously you've tied this into the cloud. You know, as, as far as applying it to these different markets that you're referring to, are you basically building an app for each market? And is that a even bigger opportunity, or how do you yeah, see no, it? There's definitely an opportunity to build different apps for different tests. You know, the, the basic testing, the calibration of the the strip system, is something that we've done in the background, and that we can replicate for any of the different tests that are there. Um, our cloud service today supports, as I said, those two standard tests, but it's fairly easy for us to add additional tests to that. Okay, let's jump over to your Kickstarter project. Um, your project is just getting out of the gate. You guys are raising fifty thousand dollars. What are people uh, getting when they back your project? You know, what are the options that you've laid out for them? You know, as remuneration. Uh, uh, you know, as always in Kickstarter, we start with that one dollar donation. If you want to be listed on our website, we're more than happy to take that dollar from you. Um, and then we've got a couple of different packages out there. So there is a, a $35 entry level and a $50 entry level package that you can get. Um, we're also putting together a, a package specifically for um, for teachers uh, buying a couple of more meters, using that within the, within the classroom to uh, to maybe get your your students excited about science. So there are a couple of different levels. You can start at the, at a buck. We hope that you donate a little bit more and get us started here. And yeah, that will help us basically get um, our steel injection molds for our meters done. You know, we've done all the design for it. If you look at our uh, Kickstarter website, you can see that you know, we we have a working prototype. And now we really need to take that to market. Uh, you know, for us, another real big benefit of doing that is is really beyond funding too, and that's early validation. We would love to get these things in the hands of as many people as possible, so they can really start using and do something with our solution. Yeah, I think for this the new generation, the iPhone generation, the internet generation as it exists today, I mean, they want to be using their phones for as many things as possible. You know, for science teachers and students, this seems like a, a natural application and solution. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's it's a great use of a device that people have already invested in. And if you look at our video, there's actually a science teacher in there that talks about uh, how he, uh, he he looked at his class and asked about his classroom. He's like, how many people already have a device like that you can use? And you know, there's plenty of people in that classroom that can actually use that today. And it's, it's very exciting to see that happen. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of exciting, we were talking a little bit before the show about some things that you have in the pipeline, specifically around low power Bluetooth. What's the story here? Yeah, so one of the things that we would like to do in the future is do something with low power Bluetooth. You know, we've been talking about building, for instance, an, an, a pool buoy, a, a little Bluetooth device that you can throw in your pool and that you can use to uh, to track your pool temperature. And you do funny things like maybe make your pool automatically send out a tweet when it's warm enough to go swimming. Mm. But we can also track that data. And then in addition to you tracking your water quality in your pool with a standard test strip, we can use that additional data, that temperature data, to actually tell you what to do to your pool. Put these kind of chemicals in your pool and, and make your pool greener, but now in a good way. We don't want the pool to really turn green. We want to help you not turn your pool green with not too much chemicals because you know, people hate their kids swimming in the pool with too many chemicals in there. And we can actually help you and limit the, the amount of, of chemicals that you need to put in your pool with that. Yeah. And that has a ton of implications for municipalities, their water works, drinking water systems and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. The, the fact that you don't put all those chemicals in your pool, you don't have all that outgassing of those chemicals, it definitely helps the environment. And you know, we think that's a great way of, to use our solution. So where can people find you on the internet if they want more information? 
yeah, go to www.lapstrip.com or just go to Kickstarter and search for Lapstrip, and that's L-A-B-S-T-R-I-P. Well, Cass, I think you have a product that has so many tangents of potential. Kickstarter is going to give you some great exposure, and hopefully you're going to hit your target of $50,000, but you guys have so many channels of opportunity to go down with this product. Yeah, we're very excited about it. You know, the future has a lot of good things for us in store, and it's great to be here. Thank you very much. And just to echo one more time, if you'd like to check out um, and back the Lab Strip, you can go to Kickstarter, search for Lab Strip, and then uh, click the Back This Project button. For more Crowded Places videos, you can visit or subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Crowded Places TV. I'm Curtis Hollister. Thanks so much for watching.